Um, I will uh, explain explain some uh, details of two projects that I made in the four last years for uh, the uh, Swiss Demining Foundation, which is uh, nearby me. Um, it began. So, yeah, my name is Alain Maté. Uh, I started Blender with a version 2, 3.3a, and like a lot of people, I, as you can see, I began with very ugly renders. I also member from uh, of the French forum Blender Clan. That's for me. Hello. <laughs> Where do <laughs> okay. Um, the whole story began uh, uh, as I, I, I was in a in a weekend to uh, to relax and uh, without computer. And uh, suddenly, I had an idea of something, some something to try in Blender. And uh, uh, once again, I had no computer, and uh, this was the first time that I, I had so an idea, and uh, no possibility uh, to test direct and to to try and to make and to. Uh, so I I take some notes and sketches and. Um, a few days later, I uh, arrived at home. I began to make uh, um, this uh, an, an animation and a tutorial. And the goal of this was to make an animation with just animating one object. And uh, the rest was doing with uh, constraints and drivers and so on. Um, and I made uh, yet an animation which is on uh, um, YouTube, but I also have it here. Uh, do, do, do. Where do I have this? Renders. Yes. VLC, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. And F probably switches to the full screen. No. Okay, if um, you like. Okay. So I made this animation just for fun. And uh, it was with Blender 248, I think. And made a quite big tutorial in. Uh, uh, Blender Art Magazine uh, issue 19, and uh, then I knew nearby me was uh, this uh, demining foundation, which has so um, a demining machine, and uh, I told them, hey, I, I made some cool things in uh, 3D, uh, would be possible to do uh, something for you, and they said, uh, yeah, it could, it, it would be, it would be nice, but uh, for the moment we do, n we do not have any idea or, do, or, or no project for this. Uh, please just wait, and we we will uh, contact you. And um, um, so I uh, I read some books and made some tutorials uh, between the time, and two years later. They contact me, contacted me, and said, "Yeah, we we now have a project." Uh, also, they had they had so, uh, already uh, two two machines for for the de demining, and uh, a customer for the uh, of them uh, had uh, special requests, uh, and they had no time and no money to make real prototypes and uh, they told me yeah uh, it could be it, it would be nice if we if we had some uh, 3d uh, pictures and maybe animation and we began to discuss and uh, uh, the, the the whole story began uh, as I showed the this model they said wow it's absolutely amazing and I, I said yeah well, it's just a ugly render 
but they had uh, they used to to work with 3D things like this, so without ground, without lightning, and because of this was the the difference with this absolutely uh, fantastic. So I. Uh, Thanks to the book I, I read pre uh, previously, I, I had an idea how to manage the whole project and I began to make storyboards and scripts and like uh, everyone um, and, uh, and then rendering and animatics and so on. Then, uh, of course, I had some problems. Uh, the first problems, uh, problem that was uh, my computer, which, which was an old machine, uh, as you can see with a floppy disk. Two, uh, four years old, it's not so, <laughs> not so long. Huh? And every time uh, that I had a complex scene, a complex, complex scene to render, I made a, a, a quiet, a, a quick test and uh, this test was most uh, always successful, but in the complex scene with uh, most um, a lot of objects and uh, so uh, most a uh, lot of vertices and so uh, I had uh, often crash. Um, It was at the beginning. It was for me a good idea to have always the, the Blender version number in the name uh, of the file, because I uh, I did uh, uh, a lot of tests, and uh, it it was easy to know which Blender version was used to make which test. But uh, after six months or so uh, in the project, uh, I had a new Blender version and it was no more possible to change the Blender, the <coughs> the Blender names, the file names, because I had a uh, link objects between files and that was also a problem. Uh, like the first one with just a test, it's maybe a good idea, but in a big project, uh, not so good idea. Um, Importing so the 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 whole machine uh, was modeled by the the mining foundation of course and uh, I just had had to import uh, the STL files uh, and sometimes it was also a problem because uh, by importing also if you have two 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 parts sometimes the vertices are the same in the in the corner. And by selecting, if you if you want just to to make a material, or so just by selecting a part, you have the whole machine, which was also selected. Um, so I had just to select vertices uh, separately. Not so not so easy as uh, as thought. Uh, this was I test I I tested this with the latest Blender version. Uh, when you link an object between two files and you so just by linking you can not move or scale it's just a fixed object then you make proxy to be able to move or scale and by making proxy you lose the whole uh, modifier stack just have to redo that's some some surprise Then uh, I had a video here, chain flail. This was a scene which was not so easy with some a lot of chains, flail chain. And this one with high speed rotation of the whole thing. Is I don't understand. This video that you uh, yeah. Those chains. The chains are, are are really are really chains or? The uh, which part of the machine? No, I sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, which we 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 could dis discuss later. Uh, English is not my. First language. Es tut mir leid, ich verstehe auch nicht. 
<laughs> French is my first language. Um, it was uh, it was possible uh, with uh, with this Blender version. It was possible in the game engine to work with uh, rigid bodies, but only in the game engine. And for my computer, so uh, so uh, so big chains uh, was not able to calculate, and it was really uh, really slow and not possible. Then I begin, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, so I, I, uh, I has no um, low-level knowledge with a rigid body, and I made some tests, and uh, was was really difficult. And then I tried to simulate this with a closed simulator and a particle system with a, with a chain parts, and uh, it was not so. Oh, uh, so it was uh, ha half successful. The resolution is here. And as you can see here, is some parts are very, very <laughs> cool, and some parts are not. And and this was done, I, I did this test with the, last, uh, the, the latest Blender version. And at the end, I just use, I make a, bl a blurry version of the chain in, in GIMP with a um, blur filter and just import it as planes in, in, in Blender. Yeah. Using uh, using uh, particles, oh, so uh, yeah, uh, this particle one has this object and particle system two this, and uh, so one. But if you use dupliface, you have the the same objects about uh, all faces. And uh, I had to have uh, one one link so and uh, one link so and at the end the, the this uh, this is yeah and at the end of the chain this uh, this hammer or something like this um, it's maybe maybe uh, it's it's a better solution but it was it was mat my solution at this time and as you can see uh, if you if you look very Closely, uh, close uh, in the animation at some bugs, uh, but in the video, it's um, it's quite not uh, noticeable. And this was the solution with GIMP blur, radi radial blur. Um, yeah, in the animation, uh, it works not perfectly, but good enough. Um, this was also a nightmare. Uh, it's a scene. Do I have this scene in video? Uh, tree explosion, yes. There were depths of field here, plus, plus uh, alpha texture in the leaves, plus smoke, plus shadows on the ground, plus, 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 plus. Oh. I think I no, I closed the file browser. Um, <laughs> I made. I hope it will work somehow. Okay, this is not your presentation. Is no. Yeah. Okay, we can close. Just need need the file browser again. Yeah. yeah. So go there. Just here. This oh. menu, yeah. And then <laughs> you have it here somewhere else. Probably this one. Yeah. This is my stick. I hope so. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. If not, you can use this another one and try another one from here. Oh, uh, Blender conference. No. No. So 
This one, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I tried so many possibilities with ray ray tracing and uh, with shadows and everything. Uh, half was successful, but half not. Uh, so I did. Uh, at the end, I I made uh, many sequences JPEG and uh, use translate uh, uh, smooth uh, uh, yeah, beginning with one sequence and at the end the other sequence uh, just to to be able to work around because I had really no solution for this yeah here you see the, the, the leaves at the begin and the leaves at the end of the sequence here or here uh, but also in the animation, it was not noticeable. Uh, yeah, some other problem with link linking objects. If you use uh, render layers and particle system here and link and so on. Uh, once again, the, the test was successful, but the the final uh, the final file uh, had a crash and no, no function. Um, common line. The first line had function uh, was successful, but copy and paste for the second one file not found error and uh, surprisingly, uh, just by deleting the two latest char well, two latest char oh, character here, <laughs> just delete at the end and rewrite uh, hyphen a and it works. I don't know why, but it was so. Um, the customer was uh, starting to think uh, the whole story was a bluff because of all uh, CG animation. And uh, in this animation, we made some real footage uh, into, into this, just to prove that uh, the, the machine was really existing. And uh, of course, new Blender version had uh, new tools that were uh, very useful for, for the project because I made this uh, about, uh, it took, took me about one year to do. This was my render form, also two old PCs and a laptop and uh, sometimes a notebook. And uh, I also use this in extreme cases, cases I also use this uh, render form. This was the first project, then I bought a new PC with uh, some Vitamina and began the new project. This is, uh, the, the, the new project was this catalog and the uh, Digger Foundation asked me to produce uh, the, the images, the CG any, uh, pictures uh, of the machine. And uh, from the beginning it was, uh, we, know, we knew that uh, we had to produce some uh, some pictures with cycles and some with freestyles, and the question was uh, uh, if it was possible to have one object but rendering possibility in cycles and internal. And uh, it's just it's really easy to to make uh, in the compositor. You can you can do your cycle your material in cycles and then switch in uh, internal render and make your also your your material and just switch between the in the scene between internal or cycles and you have it some unexpected problems with uh, import uh, high quality models which was uh, not necessary um, this was an animation uh, for for the animation of the tracks, which uh, the here is a, just a curve and a array modifier, and this this uh, was done with the uh, uh, multi multi phase uh, system. It's a little bit uh, faster in the in the viewport and uh, also not not rounding the the parts. Um, using a age modifier on a non-appropriate uh, topology was also a bad idea sometimes. Uh, 
I had also corrupted files where the the active camera was not the render camera, and uh, luckily it was uh, easy to solve by, uh, in by importing the whole scene in a new in a new file, and everything was uh, was okay. Uh, the whole uh, John Deere engine was also a problem because a very very high detail model directly uh, received from the from the producer so not not so easy to work with and uh, I just made import the the engine apply a decimate modifier and worked with uh, with two models one high poly just to render and a low poly to see in the in the viewport of course crashes because uh, my graphic card was not strong enough new version and uh, these are some pictures that I did for this project the whole this was the whole machine with some stats here if if any one of you has some experience with sketchfab you can come to me um, yeah the this foundation is also a non profit foundation so if you if you want to help them also, uh, you can find uh, them on uh, this address. And at the end, I can show you some uh, things that I did for them. This was all the first project, and this is the real machine. It's absolutely normal that there is no sound. <laughs> the resolution is also not correct. So, thank you for your attention. <laughs> if you have some questions, please use English for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first tutorial about uh, so the, the, the tutorial for, for this one is in uh, uh, Blender Art Magazine issue 19, but it was, it was for a very old Blender version. Uh, I, the other one, the uh, this one. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it will work, sure. But okay. but you, I think you have to to redo some something because yeah. I've I didn't try to open the old file in the in the new version. But I think not with uh, I had a lot of drivers, and this this uh, doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. But uh, uh, on Blender Nation, there is someone who who did uh, tank tracks with. Uh, Close simulator or something like this, which, which is, uh, uh, I think it's it much much better than uh, my version. <laughs> uh, but I think yeah, it it could be possible. Yeah. <laughs>
uh, the where where this this version is also in uh, in Blender Art Magazine uh, issue 44 with a blend file, I think. And uh, yes, thank you. Yep. Yep. Uh, it depends on the on the on the difficulty of the project, but uh, yes, uh, if if it's something uh, it's, uh, as big as this one, uh, I had at I, at home uh, seven hundred seven hundred uh, hours rendering. One year, <laughs> and uh, yes, uh, but it's it's always a, a question about uh, costs. Uh, the Carnot computing uh, that I used was in a, in test uh, period, uh, so in test time, and it was uh, it was also uh, free at this time to test. But uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, if I had to redo something like this for so so big animation, the final animation uh, is a uh, ten minutes, or yeah, a little bit more than ten minutes, uh, with uh, everything everything as as simple as possible. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know which render farm, but. Uh, a render farm would be would be very useful. Yes. Was there a benefit in making your own render farm? Or why no, it was just that I I I did know anything about uh, uh, render farms. Also, uh, I had no test, no experience, and. Uh, just in in extreme cases where the, where 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 I had uh, where I had no time, uh, I tried to 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 use a render farm, but the rest the the whole project was not so uh, time uh, stress and uh, I, I had time to do this at home. Uh, the it was just that the the, the computer was not uh, was not. Powerful enough, not not enough uh, memory. Uh, I had crash, but uh, the that the, the that the rendering was slowly was not so a problem for the project. It was. Was it easy to set up your own render farm? Uh, it it was it was just the the quick and dirty method. Uh, one uh, one shared repository, and. Uh, Two, two or three PC with uh, with uh, the same file, so copy files, oh, and they are rendering uh, ima image in in just one uh, directory, and uh, yeah, it was just uh, on the evening before go to bed and just start render, start render, and start render, and uh, of course the the five first images was were okay. And then go to bed and uh, the image number six had a crash. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was not 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 really a render form. But uh, so the uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it was it was working. Yeah. Yes. L'éclaté. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it, it was it was just uh, just for me for fun. Um, the, the this animation was not a request from them. Uh, uh, I I made this just just to just to test how how good or how not good it was, and. Uh, Maybe you you noticed the, the the whole engine, the green engine, in the, is not there because uh, crash, not enough memory. <laughs> and I I think the this sequence was uh, I was rendered in in two or three uh, uh, 
image sequences and alpha uh, add alpha in in the in the VSA uh, the video sequence editor because uh, just 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 one image image was uh, was okay but uh, for the whole sequence uh, two or three images and crash and crash and crash and but uh, yeah this this was just for me so I I didn't try to send it to a render farm or something like this. So, thank you. Thank you. D did you understand the, the, the question that the guy wanted to ask? I did not. Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> it's... Okay.